Hey folks, Nick here again. I'm excited to welcome you to Ironman VR 12. This week we have an incredible Ruby course on tap, Ironman 70.3 Kona. As usual, we'll be offering a dual division format. You can race Ironman VR 12 on your preferred equipment, indoor or outdoor, over a three day period, or you can race the Ironman VR Championship Series. In the Ironman VR Championship Series, you need to complete the three activities in order over a 12 hour time period during the greater 54 hour racing window. For the Ironman VR Championship Series, you need to complete your runs outside, not on a treadmill, and the courses cannot feature a net elevation loss. And you need to complete your bike portion on Ruby on the Ironman 70.3 Kona bike course in race mode, not training mode. If you hope to compete in the Ironman VR Championship Series, or you hope to win one of those Ironman 70.3 World Championship qualifying slots, then you need to complete this weekend's race. This week, we head to a location fit for the Championship Series, Kona. What better place for a competitive event than Kona, Hawaii? No other location carries as much weight in the triathlon world. This course takes athletes across barren lava fields and over stunning ocean vistas. The first 10 miles of the course features some varying ups and downs. Athletes begin by heading out on the Kuakini Highway before making the turnaround and heading back toward the town of Kona. During the Ironman VR Pro Challenge, we'll have a variety of preems for the professional athletes. Preem number one is the top to top. At the Kuakini Highway turnaround, athletes can hammer the downhill before climbing to the top of Palani at 7.14 miles into the race. Preem number two is first to the energy lab. Athletes will then pass the airport. This is where you can really start to get into a rhythm on this course. Pre number three is the Getting Real Roller Coaster. This is an eight mile time trial from Manalani to the turn for Javi at the 41.39 mile mark. Athletes will then begin the final climb toward Javi. Pre number four is the Windy 1K. This is that last big push on the hill up toward Javi on Highway 240. And lastly, preem number five is the fastest combined run and bike time for both the male and female athletes. I'd like to take a moment to remind you about a few key features on Ruby. In training mode, Ruby gives you the ability to check out courses without riding them. In training mode, you can change the reality level and make the course easier for yourself to check out key locations. When it comes time to compete in the Ironman VR Championship Series, you need to complete the course on race mode, not training mode. When you click on race mode, it's time to perform. Within race mode, there's no stopping and you must complete the entire course. Race mode allows you to take on a course and perform at your best level at your leisure. You also have the opportunity to join the pros during the Ironman VR Challenge on course. You need to click the online race tab in the bottom right hand corner of Ruby and register for the race at 9.30 a.m. on Saturday morning. When you finish off that bike course on Ruby, it's time for your run. Thanks for joining me for the Ironman VR 12 overview. You have the opportunity to race a portion of the Ironman World Championship course against athletes from all around the world. As always, happy training and I'll see you out on course.